everybody it's eva with budget your life and i am here to do my harry potter binder night i'm very excited i haven't done this for a few weeks and i've been itching to kind of get back into it i have a little bit more money than um i was going to initially use because i wanted to try to do a little bit more of my escape room binder and i never seem to get to all the ones in the very back so I just did a little bit extra. So this should be $175. So I'll just set this up really fast. And this is prop money. This money is already in my high yield savings account. Um, and it is sitting there. And when I am done playing this and I will move it over into my emergency fund bucket. So this is just kind of for my buffer in my just my regular high yield savings enough said i have all some of my little goodies out and i have for some reason eighty five thousand die i don't think i need all of those in there so let's just hop right in shall we i am so excited all my stickers are coming up i'm not excited about that all right let's do a little camera check Okay, I think we are all set. Okay, so up first we have Mischief Managed Budgets. Oh, is this all the cards? Oh, I still have these. Okay, this is the card set that has the train and Hogwarts on there. And you get all of these little cards. These are the ones that I've already done. So I am just going to pick one or two depending on what... I get. Oh, it's all the little pets. Okay. It's 13. We'll just do the one. <laughs> I'll stick that in here for the ones we've done. And then take these and stick this back in here. Okay. I have seven, so I, I will put this back. Oh, I don't have a 20. Did I not put any 20s in here? I guess not. Well, I'll just add 10. Eleven. Wow, that was complicated. All right, so we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57, 59, 60, 61. Okay, ooh, exploding snaps. Oh, these are the cards. Okay, so let's, I'm not gonna shuffle with these talons on. So I'll just do this. I already have the ones out that I've already um, scratched off. I've already gotten <laughs> the Jokers. If you want, haven't watched my very first Harry Potter binder night, I got both Jokers on the first night and it was $15 each. It was pretty funny. All right, so each round draw two cards, queen and five. All right. Okay, so we got the queen and five. So queen is three and five would be two. So that's five dollars. Let's go one more time. Let's see what we got. And I did shuffle these before. So, all right, so another queen and another five. That's kind of weird. Not gonna lie, it's a little weird. 
Um, okay, so we got Queen of Hearts and Five of Diamonds. All right, so that's another $5. I'm going to put the five back and grab one of the tens. Put this back. This is from Holly over at Kingdom Planning. She has a lot of fun games on her Etsy. Put that in there. And then this is also from Holly at Kingdom Planning. It's potions class. And <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this because the first time I played, I think you should go back if you haven't watched my very first Harry Potter Binder Night because there's some funny little moments in there. One of them was me playing this and I kept getting feet. I'll probably get it tonight. I feel like I get feet every single time, even though I watch other people play it and they never get feet. Okay, so pick two cards. Bones and feet. I'm telling you. Bones and feet. I think this is what I kept getting that first time. Nope, bones and feet. Wolfsbane. Oh, and every time I hear Wolfsbane, I think of my favorite show, which is Teen Wolf. <laughs> I'm like, such a nerd. Okay. So $8. I kind of want to play it one more time. This is why I probably never get to the other stuff in the back. Because I keep... Okay, so first one is Eyeball. I don't think I get that very often. And, oh, I thought it was Feet again. Oh, Mandrake. Okay, so Eyeball and Mandrake. That is something. Draught of Living Death. Well, that sounds absolutely terrible. That is $5. Put that there. I think that's a good place to stop. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. This should be coming out on Wednesday. And this is only Harry Potter. No double feature, just Harry Potter night. And... Okay, so that's correct. I guess I should put the money in the envelope. Okay, up next, this is from Bookish Mama Budgets. Super pretty. And a little roll and save on the back. Let's see, let's roll a D6. Four, so one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. I need to do that. All right, that is $2. Let's go one more time. One, two, three, four, five. That is $1. All right, so that's six. And I'm going to do a would you rather now because I always forget until the end. I don't think I have my Harry Potter questions. All right, let's do the would you rather. Okay, would you, I'll do these two. So would you rather own a store in Diagon Alley or work at Gringotts Bank? And then the other one would be, would you rather spend the holidays with the Weasley family or spend the holidays with the Love Good family. Okay. So would you rather own a store in Diagon Alley or work at Gringotts or spend the holidays with the Weasley family or the Love Good family? And I will think about that and try to answer that before we're done. Okay, that's fun. Okay, so this is super cute. This was part of the magical i get it wrong every time magical mystery bundle that lindsay had this was the second one and this was part of the first one so this is bookish mama budgets again 
and it's another roll and save on the back, but we'll just do the front for now. That is not what I need. I need this. All right, so one, two. Okay, it's $5. Let's go one more time. That is four for a total of nine. Okay, so we don't have that, so I'll do five and then I'll do four. One, two, three, four. All right, so then I'm gonna take these two and this one for a five. Awesome. Can't believe we're at the end of October. It's kind of crazy that tomorrow's Halloween, depending on when you're watching this. Okay, we are only doing roll and saves. I'll do a D6. And we got six. Do that one more time. And five. For $11. And before I do shut the box, I'm going to come over to my Harry Potter escape room. And this is episode five. I'm not really following the escape room, but this is from Janelle Ray Budgets. I saw the Harry Potter binder and immediately purchased it like I did with the Goonies binder. All right. So scratch off when you have the code. I don't know which one. I'm thinking it's this one, but six. I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, three dollars. I'm going to go one more time. All right, so that's another three. I'm going to do one more. All these big numbers. Okay, I'll do ten. So we have 21. I might come back and finish that, we'll see. All right, let's do a little shut the box. This is from the Road to 500 Club, but I know they're doing their Road to 1000 now. I just saw this Mandrakes, repot the Mandrakes and knew it was gonna be in my Harry Potter binder. So um, if you are not already following Windmill Ridge Budgets, Amy by Nature, or What Matters Most Now, I would encourage you to do so. They are a fantastic group of ladies and super fun to watch. And they all have really, really fun content. So this particular one is from Amy by Nature, I believe. So yeah, Amy by Nature. So they are on their way to 1,000, and it's so fun to watch. All right, so let's do, well, let's do these two. Eight. Let's get my marker. I do this the low dollar way, but um, I always like to say we'll see how it goes. That was five, six. Why do I keep getting doubles? This is what I'd like to know. Eight. Okay, so I have to do seven and one. 
9. 5 and 4 is 9. Okay. Um, I might go down to one die because I'm under, all of them are under 6. Okay, 3. Whoop, I'm out. So I will save these two. And I guess I could do it. I'll do six. I'll do it the regular way. Five and six. And I'm going to leave this last one for another time. I could always reprint it, but I'll leave it for another time for now. That back there. And then the house cup is up next. We really need somebody other than Slytherin to anyone, like any other anything. So let's see what we're going to do. I pulled all the money out, which I didn't really need to do, but let's organize it while we're here. Do that. Okay, so we... Okay, so I will do... Okay, thank God. Okay, it's not Slytherin, so that's all I care about. All right, so now I will roll a d6 and figure out which one I'm going to scratch off. Two we've already done. Four. So that's this one up here. So that's five dollars. Let's go again. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I haven't even touched that one. Okay. All right, let's roll our die to see which one we're going to do. Two is already done. Three. So that will be this one. Five, six, seven. I'm going to go one more time. Yes. Okay. Two is already done. Three is already done. Four is already done. Four, three, one. Okay, five dollars and we will call it there. I'll put these two fives back, grab this last 10 and we are putting in $17. Twenty, thirty, forty-five, fifty-five, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, and this is from Mischief Managed Budgets. Okay, and then we've got another one from Bookish Mama Budgets. That's super cute. Okay, let's roll a die. Figure out which one we're scratch off. Four. So one, two, three, four. All right, it's two dollars. Um, 
That is such a cute roll and save. All right, I think I'll do this side first. I'll do one more. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm going to put the two back and grab a five. Then we'll stop there. Okay, and then up next I have um, from Floating Funds, Maddie. This is the Save 65. This is the Herbology Hogwarts School of Witchcraft, Witchcraft and Wizardry. Okay. So we go one, two, three. Okay, so we'll do six dollars. I might do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. My little scratcher tool was scratching the paper, which kind of makes me sad because it's so pretty. All right, so nine and six is 15. So put that back and grab two more fives. And we will stop there. Yay! Okay. So this is from the Budgeting in Introvert. I got it um, without holes punched but I ended up punching my own holes and putting it in this binder with everything else instead of having it on its own. Um, so roll a D12 to find which page you'll play. So there's little numbers on each page and then roll a D6 to figure out which, um, which one to scratch off. Da -da -da. We're not gonna do a multiplier, I'm totally fine with that so let's do a d12 page 11 it's a little creepy that's page 12 page 11 okay we seem i know we got this one. Oh, here we go all right so now we're gonna roll a d let's do this one d6 for six up here in the corner Okay, it's five dollars. Let's do that again. Page two. Hermione. Okay, we haven't done. Oh, we did one on here. We did number five. So one, one is right here. All right, so we're gonna add four dollars to that. So I'll do two twos. Let's do this again. Eleven. God, it likes eleven. No Hagrid yet. Okay. Five. It's right here. Okay, and then another four dollars. So that is eight, two, four, six, eight, and five is thirteen dollars. Ah, that works. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, I am going to do. I think the rest of this guy and then I have been thinking about my would you rather okay so would you rather own a store in Diagon Alley or work at Gringotts Bank and then spend the holidays with the Weasleys or the Love Goods um, hmm I love money, so part of me wants to work at the bank. But it's so, like, 
dark and I don't know. They don't seem like friend friendly people. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe have my own store in Diagon Alley. Um, let's see, five dollars. And then as far as spending the holidays with the we Weasleys or Love Good Family, I think I'm going to go with the Weasleys just because there's more people, um, a little lively, there's things going on. But I do love Luna. And I think she's by the beach. Was she the one by the beach? Okay, so $5 here. I'm just going to scratch. All right, so that is everything. We should have $35. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. I already had a five out, so here we go. 35. Perfect. Let's see what the next one is. Okay, so this was room three. So room four is Harry getting the sorting hat put on him. Oh, let's get us started off here. Let's do this one. All right, so I did two. <laughs> so that is eight dollars. Five, six, seven, and eight. Let's put a two instead of that. And we have room four started. Okay. Let's do another one of these. Put this money back in here. Oops. The art on this is so pretty. That is a 15, so we have 10, 12, 14, and 15. And I believe most of her card sets have 15 of these cards, and I believe they're 1 through 15. So maybe that just means we got some of the higher ones out today. <laughs> Okay, so let's put this one back in here. And we have seven more to pull. So tomorrow is Halloween. I almost said Thanksgiving, but it's not Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, let's see. All right, I have ten dollars. And I am still going to do my live. Um, I realize that there's going to be a lot of people who won't be able to make it with their kids and Halloween and trick or treating and all that, and that's totally fine. But I still have my money I want to save and it's my last chance to get some items completed and put into my October completed challenges bag, which then can be split between debt and my randomizer. So let's do two cards here. We got a seven, 
and a 10. So that's $4. Six dollars, six, eight dollars, nine, ten dollars. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, all right, that's our last little bit of money. Apparently, I was just gonna do all exploding snaps. <laughs> all right, so let's color all those off. Let me put the money in here. And let's see, you've got a lot of the aces. These cards are so slippery. Okay, so we have hearts. And again, this is from Holly over at Kingdom Planning. And I will leave those cards out. Let's see how much this has saved us. Got a nice chunk in here so far. Thanks to the Jokers. <laughs> okay. So we have 20, 40, 55, 60, 62, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77 dollars. Oof. Nice. All right. So that is everything in my Harry Potter binder. I got to everything couple things twice. I got to finish a room and start a new one in my Janelle Ray budgets. Um, is it Janelle Ray budgets? Yeah, Janelle Ray budgets escape room binder. So I'm very excited about that. And yeah, so that's my Harry Potter one. And I really, really appreciate you guys being here. This was so fun. If you have a chance, stop by my live tomorrow. It's 5.15. Uh, Pacific time and 815 East Coast time. So this was a lot of fun. I hope you had fun and don't forget to put your answer down below for the would you rather own a store in Diagon Alley or work at Gringotts or spend the holidays with the Weasleys or the Love Goods. So thanks for being here. Until next time, take care. Bye.